Hello everybody, it's Ice Mog 217 Welcome to another vlog. Well, at least it will be a vlog if this actually turns out to be an interesting day. I just thought I'd film because, you know, I'm on my way to uh, EB Games or, uh, <laughs> sorry, GameStop. Because a few weeks ago, I was at the uh, Sunridge location and I pre-ordered a action figure. So I'm hopefully going to be able to pick that up today. Also, it's double VIP uh, week, so I don't know. Might be going to Lego store to pick something up. We'll see. Not sure yet, but <laughs> that's so far my semi-plan for the day, but we'll see what happens. So, I'm at Sunridge Station, just got off the train. It's snowing out. It's not heavily snowing, but it's snowing out, and uh, that worries me because I'm in nothing but a hoodie and shorts. It's okay, I'm Canadian, I can deal with it. Well, I mean, like, being honest, I, I really probably could be able to deal with it, but if the weather does get worse, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Alright, I'm in Sunridge now. Um, not too far away from where EB Games is, but man, I don't really don't come to this mall because there's not only nothing here besides EB Games. So, don't think I'll have much to show you guys in this mall, but I'll try. Looks like they updated their logo. And stop, here we are. <sighs> All right, let's just go get my action figure. Okay, just got out of EB Games. Um, they managed to sucker me into buying another action figure they had. It was the last one they had. I'll show that off later in the video, but I'm telling you, there's nothing much else to show off in this store and this mall, so I'm gonna head straight to Chinook. Okay, so for those who don't know, I collect Five Nights at Freddy's stuff because I'm a Five Nights at Freddy's fan. Now, it is rare for me to collect merch because A, there hardly is ever merch that pops up in Canada, or at least in Calgary. And what it is, it's more than usually stuff I don't care for. Like, for example, they got right now these uh, Five Nights at Freddy's busts that it costs like 80 bucks, and I'm like, eh, they're pretty big. And while they do look nice, I figured I could buy Lego. Like, I had to get more enjoyment out of buying Lego. And that, those busts are based on the upcoming game that's coming out supposedly this year called Security Breach. Which is a sequel to the Five Nights at Freddy's game called Help Wanted. And that was a originally a VR game, but you can play it without the VR aspect. So, it's a pretty good game. I tried out the VR version, thanks to my good friend Jordan. And it's a great game, I love it. And, uh... One of the, and basically the action figures I bought today were based on the Help Wanted video game. And as well, well mainly leaning towards the DLC because the DLC is called Curse of Dreadbear. Uh, so the only character that technically isn't from the DLC is Glitch Trap, which is the one I pre-ordered. And the second one I got is actually based off the DLC. Actually, I'm wondering, should I check the Chinook EB Games, or sorry, GameStop, to see if they have the other two? Because if so, I may be tempted to pick them up. Now, I don't plan on opening these action figures. I plan to just have them on display on my wall, which I'll show off when I get home. But, yeah. It's been a, it's been a theme that I've been into on the side for a while now. And it's just, it's hard to get, collect stuff, you know? Cause you gotta pick and choose what you like. But I've been managing to manage, like there's the books and the action figures and the mystery minis. And those are okay by me. Uh, I remember they used to have other stuff like pens, uh, little mystery plushes, uh, micro, Mighty Micros, I think that's what they were called. Uh, what else? Oh, and they had Funko Pops. They probably still do Funko Pops, they just don't do release them in Canada as often. But I'm not a big Funko Pop collector, so, eh. Anyway, I'm ultimately just killing time until the train comes. It's still snowing, and it looks like it's gonna get worse. Speaking of the train, is here. Let's head to Chinook.
Okay, so hopefully that uh, time lapse actually looks good in post. <laughs> if not, then I apologize. But uh, yeah, I'm at City Hall now. I'll see if I can give you guys a look of what it's like from City Hall all the way to Chinook. But uh, <laughs> that was what it looks like for me taking the train all around town. I mean, like, that was just from Sunridge, uh, from where I got those action figures, which are now in my backpack. So. Yeah, just gotta wait for the red line, and then I'll be on my way to Chinook. Okay, so apparently the red line's down, so we're taking a sh what's called a shuttle bus to Chinook. <laughs> Interesting, but uh, we'll make do. So that would have been nice to know earlier, I mean like... <laughs> uh, I have no problem taking the shuttle bus, just I'd like a heads up. That's all. So, yeah, um, shuttle bus dropped us off at 39th Avenue Station, so, yeah, it's just literally, I think, a stop away from Chinook. Just a matter of waiting for the train now. Okay, here is my battle plan. I am going to check the Lego store first, see what they have on sale, go to EB Gaines, maybe Discovery Hut, and then come back for the item I put has to put that to put aside at Lego. Because that's my plan. Alright. Now in Chinook. Let's make our way to the Lego store. Okay, we just got out of the Lego store. I definitely cleaned what I had and shout out to Cass. You know, like I looked at this pick a brick wall and I noticed that they had this in stock and I asked him if there's any way I could just purchase one and he just gave it to me. So shout out to you, man. You're awesome. So yeah, great day. I'm just waiting for my dad to pick me up and then I'm on my way home. Okay, I just got picked up by my dad. I'm just waiting for him because uh, he wanted to stop inside a store nearby Chinook. So that's fine. <laughs> I did pop into EB Games real quick though to see if they had any more of the Curse of Dreadbear action figures. They did have Grim Foxy. Now, however, I realized that I spent most of my cash at the Lego store and I wasn't about to return it because, you know, double points are mine! <laughs> you know? So, um, I asked them, is there any way I can, like, they could put it aside and they're like, we could put it away for the end of the week, but if someone orders it online, and to be picked up in store, we kind of have to give it to them. I'm like, that's fine. I appreciate you offering to um, put it aside for me until then. Um, so most likely I'll be going back there just to pick that up. And who knows, some other stuff. We'll see. But um, yeah, <laughs> I guess I'm going to try and go for the full uh, batch of, uh, what is it? Curse of Dreadbear figures. Yeah, so... Oh, by the way, there's Glitch Trap. So, those are all the characters I need to hunt for. I have Glitch Trap, I have Dreadbear, I just need Grim Foxy and Jack O'Bonnie. And again, I don't plan on opening these to build, or, uh, you know, technically I'm displaying them, because, like, like again, I'll show you when I get home how they look, but, um, I think they look nicer in the box. I don't have any use for them opened, so... Yeah. <laughs> so I guess I'm just waiting for my dad and we'll see where the rest of this video takes us. Nothing here at Walmart, at least in the magazine section. Let's go check out their Lego section and see what they got. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they have a whole lot of anything that I'm interested in that I don't already have. Yeah. Gotta love the speakers at full blast. Oh, they have those stunt sets. They didn't have those at the Lego store. Eh, I already got one. That's enough for me. Nothing much here. Alright, moving on. So, I'm on that way home with my dad, and we're talking about Lego and what I got, and then he, he, he tells me, he asks me this. So, you got how much? You paid how much for that chest set? The chest set was on sale for like 55 bucks. Okay. Again, spoilers for the end of the vlog, by the way. And it's it's worth how much? It went for like 65 retail, but the thing is, I think it's sold out online. I might be wrong, but still, it was on sale. All right, so yeah, 50, 60 bucks. And, and 
<clears throat> was there anything you've got you want that I've got? I mean, like, you do have the Anakin Starfighter that you got for 30 bucks at Costco, but... Well, I I'm, can't help it, just like you got that chest set cheap, right? Yeah. Right? So, uh, the Anakin is worth 40 bucks. Uh, so, if I give you $15 on top of the Anakin, would you give me the chest set? I don't know. I need to think on that. <laughs> <laughs> Point is, he's actually interested in something I got. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I managed to get home alright, and uh, let's just jump right into it and open up the stuff I got. So, for movie games, well, they still use the EB Games bag. It's gonna be changed soon, I'm sure. First item we got, there's the back, is. Oop. <laughs> Dreadbear. It's based off of the Cursed Dreadbear DLC from. The game I mentioned earlier. Really cool looking. Next up we have, again, I think you guys already saw this. Glitch Trap. So those are my two action figures I got from today. And I can't wait to put them on display, which, again, I'll show off in a second here. So. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. What did I get at the Lego store? Okay, so our first item we got... The Frankenstein Brickheads. This is one I was debating on for the longest time, and I thought, hey, it's October, Halloween season, and it's double VIP. You can't go wrong on that, so I'm going to be adding that to my backlog of Brickheads, because, you know, <sighs> i now got a backlog for Brickheads. And as for the next item, I got the Water Dragon. Now, two reasons why I got this. A, it's an amazing looking set. B, comes with Zane. <laughs> My goodness, double VIP. So basically I got $10 worth of points off of this thing alone. So yeah, I think I definitely pulled a good one on that one. Probably could have waited until next month to get it with a promo, but eh, I figure this is a better move to do. And for our, one of our last items. Or, oh, you guys can see it there. Ah! I got another city poly bag. This one's just to invest in, I guess, but yeah. And our final item, as you guys probably already got spoiled for, you have the iconic Lego chess set. Now, as I was talking with my dad about it, yeah, okay, so it retailed for 70 and it went, and it, I bought it for $56, and that was double VIP. So. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I'll let to see, talk with my dad a bit, see what we can work out for a deal regarding this big set. Also, by the way, finally got that Sith art finished. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm going to show you guys uh, how I display my action figures now. So here's how I have my FNAF action figures displayed. Just on the back of my bed, you can see the Bonnie ones over there. I just have them mint in box, displayed, like that. And as you can tell, I got my Halloween ones displayed already with some room. I'm pretty sure if I take down the posters, I can have some room for future ones. But that's how I have them displayed so far. All right, after some chatting with my dad, um, we've come to an agreement. He's going to trade slash buy this off of me in exchange for some stuff out of his own personal collection. A Anakin's Jedi Interceptor that he got for 30 bucks at Costco, plus $20. And, uh, you know, he gets to have this chess set to... Which is a much bigger box, so it's got to be a better deal. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Pleasure doing business. So, that's pretty much all I got for this vlog. Um, <laughs> quite an eventful day today. Kind of glad I filmed it. I was debating on not doing it, so I guess I gl I'm glad I did. So, this is what I got all in the end, plus those FNAF action figures. I will probably take this $20 and go and get that Grim Foxy action figure later. Uh, so, I'll probably post an update to Instagram for that. But, yeah! Got some good stuff today. <laughs> now, before you start going in the comments saying I lost on that deal with my dad, well, he got this for 30 bucks. It's a set I kind of want. But, that chess set, I got, for, I got double points on. So, technically, 
Um, I traded in the value that he paid for that, but I still got the double points. Plus, you know, I got double points and all this stuff, too. And I do have some stuff coming in the mail, so that, uh, keep an eye out for mail time in the future, but, yeah. I want to thank everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this vlog, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, hit that bell notification, it'd be very much appreciated. Yeah, had a pretty eventful day today. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching me go on this small little journey. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you all later. Peace out. Bye.